Hi Aries and welcome to your May 2021 general reading. This is for those of you that are born March 21st to April 19th. And again, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. So please take what resonates with you and just leave the rest. You can also check your moon and rising sign for, um, to see if, you know, any more information that might come off of that. Uh, if you need information on astrology, you can go to astro, A-S-T-R-O dot com and put in your time of birth, your date of birth and your place of birth. Uh, very specific and it'll bring up your natal chart and that will tell you where all the stars and the planets were not the stars sorry where the planets were at the time of your birth and help you to start everything on fire help you to um, navigate your life a little bit it's free and it's very user-friendly I'm not very good at uh, I'm still learning myself. I'll just put it that way. I don't want to say I'm not good at it. I'm just still learning, you know, uh, aren't we all? So, um, welcome to my channel and force for the trees. And I appreciate you being here. And we're going to start off your general reading a little bit different. We're going to pick, um, some keywords that will, you know, see what resonates for you for like a monthly message. We'll start, we're going to start there. For you. Um, also, when I reach 100 subscribers, if I haven't already, I'm going to be giving away a free reading. And information will be below on that or to follow on that. All right. I'm going to see what this radiate. Shine, Aries. I need to shine. Wow, beyond the veil. Alrighty. This is fun. I want I had this in my head today and I thought I'm gonna pull this and see how how it works for reading. I've not done it this way before. Transformation. Oh wow. So what I get off of this, Aries, is several different things um to me beyond the veil is seeing beyond this life you know seeing maybe the spiritual spiritual realm seeing the other realm seeing things people don't normally see um so this tells me that you could be gifted you could be psychic you could have, uh, you could be very intuitive. You could be, um, somebody that needs to have their messages delivered. You need to be the deliverer of the messages. I think when you do readings or when you do hit into that psychic ability that you radiate, it radiates out of you. It's almost like you can't help it. And not only do you transform yourself, but you transform other people's lives. So there's a transformation that takes place when you do your reading or when you, um, you could have psychic dreams or you could have dreams, um, of loved ones, but it, it's, it, it radiates out of you. It comes naturally, uh, to you and you need to embrace it. So that's your message to start off for the month of May. Um, embrace your psychicness, embrace your intuitiveness, embrace your, if you commune with spirits or you commune um, with with those that have passed, you know, it radiates not only from you, but to your clients or to the people that need to hear the messages. And it transforms not only them, but it transforms you too. So that's beautiful. My dog's eating in the background. So I do apologize. I'm going to move these right here. Move this up a little bit. Oh. All right. I'll put that there. All right, Aries. All right. Let's see what the messages have to say for you. Yeah, it could be where you're, you know, maybe toying, maybe, maybe you do some psychic readings on the side or you do, you know, 
some readings for people on the side and you're toying with the idea of maybe going full time with it or you know maybe it's um a side job but if not maybe you need to start it if you have the ability it definitely there's there's definitely like um the sharing Cards, cards, cards. Bottom of the deck, we have Eight of Wands. We have messages coming in swiftly. It could be a... Um, could be messages coming in. It could be um, some wait, uh, news you're waiting to hear about. It could be some um, answers to um, questions you have out there. It could be, you know, resumes you've sent out. It's something that there's mass amounts of something that you're going to have some answers to quickly or you're going to get some news about quickly. It's news coming in. All right, let's see here. Make sure we're all in line. So, we got central to the issue, which is where you're at right now. You are the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles is a card about being alone, deserted, left out, and the cold, um, not being, having people to help you, um, you know, you are feeling destitute and alone, and um, it's not a down on your luck card, it's just feeling left out of, um, abandoned, and what crosses that is the um, Four of Cups in reverse, so it's a card, too, of There could be some depression going on. There could be some uh, boredom. I mean, Four Cups can be a, a card of boredom. It's also an emotional card. You could be emotionally drained over a certain situation. Pinnacles are grounding in Earth energy, and it is upright. Um, I like this card because, you know, this person's being taken care of. They may be abandoned, but there's, there's, there's still people around you that will help you with the situation. Um, all you need to do is ask or you know, kind of seek out those people and they will be there to help you. Um, but you have what crosses that is the four of cups. So you could be given a situation. You could have been given an opportunity maybe that you did not act upon. And that could have you feeling down in the dumps or feeling down, abandoned or neglected or um, feeling like maybe you missed your chance. Maybe no one's going to want you anymore. Maybe you missed the boat feeling kind of that feeling. Um this could be having to do with relationships because it is an emotional card or a card of emotion with the cups. Um, this could have, I mean, it could have to do something too with work. Uh, you could be, it could be an emotional um, instability at work also that's going on. Uh, that maybe you're left out in the loop or maybe that you're left out of the click or whatever. Um maybe you were given an opportunity for it and you didn't take it and you're beating yourself up over it in that sense. What brings you to this point is you have the six of cups in, or sorry, six of pentacles in reverse. And this is a card of imbalance. It's a card of, um, not, not a fair exchange of give and take. Um, and again, it could be a work card. It could be something at work. That's not fair. That's not, um, you're not getting just um, recognition for it. You're not getting what is needed, um, what you're seeking. Maybe you put in the effort, maybe you put in the work and you're not getting the accolades or you're not getting the recognition that you deserve. There's not a balance or give and take. Therefore, maybe you're feeling left out in the cold or maybe you're feeling that um, you need to Maybe move on, possibly move on. Um, I don't know yet. We'll have to see what the cards bring up. The past energy that you're coming out of is a Hierophant. And this is a card of kind of deciding whether or not you want to go with the flow. Kind of deciding 
whether or not you want to go with the main pack go go with you know with um, what everybody else is doing or do you want to go off on your own and do your own thing uh, this is your past energy that you're coming out of it's also a card of knowledge and seeking knowledge um, it's also a card of doing things traditional in a traditional way um, and going with the traditional way things are done or do you want to go on the non-traditional course and do your own thing and the um, present energy is a magician so this is telling me that you know that you could be okay on your own you could be okay if you chose to go this path if you, you know, if it's a, a psychic reader or tarot or um, maybe you're a ghostbuster in that sense where you sent spirit and you can go and help people cross over. But there's something behind the veil. There's something non-traditional here that you're doing uh, or that you can do um, that other people really can't. And you're very, very good at it. And not only does it transform your life, your life, but it can transform other people's lives. And you know this, you know you have this in you. Um, so really what's coming in the present is what are you going to do about it? Are you going to um, sit with it? And this card's upright. So this is a, a card of huge transformation. It's a card of really knowing who you are, knowing your worth, and knowing what you can do. And you know, you know you have everything in you to move forward. It's just a matter of taking that leap. Um the future energy coming in is the hangman in reverse. So this is a card of um, letting go of situations that you don't need to take the credit for. It's not sacrificing yourself anymore for the for other people that don't appreciate it or that you don't um they're not seeing what you're putting in they're not seeing um the hard work and the effort that you have to to do to do um what you do you know you're not being appreciated again it comes back to this so the future card is you're letting go of that you're going to let go of it you know, you know, you've, you've gained the enlightenment that you saw it. And I think it came from in here, honestly, for whatever this blow that you took coming into this reading, um, it really opened your eyes and you really, you know, did see that you've put in the hard work and that you're, you're a changed person. You, you're transformed. You're no longer the same person that you were even a month or two ago. You know, there's a lot of transformation taking place. And then your energy is the tower in reverse. So the tower upright is a card of destruction and chaos and, um, you know, something totally breaking down so you can build new, the foundation of something going completely um, away so something new can be built upon that. And that's you. That's your energy. That's you knowing that um, even though, you know, this could be, you know, maybe you lost your job. Maybe you lost your job. Sorry. Ozzy, get your nose out of here. Come on. Back up. Here. Back up. He's pointing to the card, too. <laughs> so, you know, it's just saying that even if you're destitute and alone even if it's a job loss, Ozzy, please back up, that you know that this foundation you've built is strong. You know that. You've got that coming in. You've got that in this present energy. And this is your energy. Um, you know that your foundation is strong and you can rebuild on it. Um, even though, you know, you're, you can let it knock down. You can let it burn. You're okay with that. You know that you can rebuild and you know that your foundation is strong and you know that it's going to be balanced and it's going to be fair. So the, that's your energy, the energy, I see, I don't know which one came next. 
I think it's like this. I think the energy around you is um, the Knight of Swords. So I love how this, this is still on fire here and it's like kind of the tower. A little bit there. Um, I love that. The Knight of Swords is a Knight of um, action. So this is the energy around you. You're ready to move. You're ready to um, make things happen. You're ready to use your thoughts. You're ready to use your communication. You're ready to go forward. You're ready uh, to charge, basically. Um, he's got blood all over his sword. So he's, you know, he's not afraid of battle. He's not afraid of battle. He's not afraid of the fight. He's not afraid of what's ahead of him. So he's ready to make the changes needed. He's ready to rebuild that foundation. He's ready to move forward. He or she. Um, I, it's just a he. That's why I say, I mean, it's a he in the card. Um, but she, ye, you, ye. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to take that ac action. And, you know, the, the swords are a very determined. They're very... You know, they're very, they're, they seek the truth, um, but they're a very determined card. So there's so much determination and it's like nothing really can stop you. You're, you're moving forward. Your hopes and fears is the devil. Um, it's a card of Capricorn. This is a card of backsliding. It's a card of, you know, I would definitely say it's a fear card. It's a card of letting those thoughts, letting those um, negative um, things that maybe people have said to you or that um, maybe you grew up with, letting all those negative emotions and feelings and everything come back up to the surface and uh, believing it. Um, it's also a card. It could be a card of addictions. It could be a card of obsessive um, some ob obsessions. So this is just maybe your fears. Maybe, um, if you're coming out of, um, some type of addiction, just, you know, that fear of backsliding. So like if you're an AA, then go, you know, do your meetings and, and really know that if this could come up coming into, uh, the next month that really take your precautions, really, um, be aware that you could, this could be um, bringing up a lot of old feelings and you want to be ready for it. Excuse my dog, Ozzy. Here, move your head. Look at the cards. You're messing them all up. He just wants to be seen. Poor thing. He's so, he's so neglected. All right. So then we have um, the outcome card and it's the three swords. And the Three of Swords is a card of heartbreak, and it's a card of, you know, having your heart pierced. And, um, but you have this light around you. So I look at it as you've gone through your dark night. I think that's where we started this reading. You've come through the dark night of your soul. And the way you look at it is... The only place you have to go is up. You know, you know that uh, what happened hurt. You've been hurt in the past. Um, you will carry that with you. And it'll be like a lesson for you. And I think that's what it's saying is that you will... Um, you're going to re-remember what brought you to this point and you're not going to forget it, but it gains, it's, it's kind of like the hangman. You get enlightenment from it. You learn, you know, when we know better, we do better. And this is situations where you're not going to repeat, you know, you're not going to have that same heartache. You're really going to, you're going to guard your heart more and you're going to guard your emotions more. Um, this is also a card of your thoughts and your communication to yourself, to your own heart. So it's, it's kind of, um, a little warning to, you know, be, be gentle to yourself, but you have so much transformation that's taking place. And that's part of, that's part of that.
So be it your work or be it a, um, I don't really get a relationship vibe off of this. I think, you know, um, it could be people you work with that hurt you or people you could work with, you know, your family of some sort. But you've got that sword. You, you're ready for the battle. You're ready to take on the fight. And yes, you may get hurt, but you know, it's, it will be worth it in the long run. All right. Let us pull a mermaid card. For some reason, I've been drawn to these this time. I can shuffle them. Goodness gracious. All right, Aries, let's see. What messages do mermaids have for you? I'm feeling the ocean vibe, I guess. Maybe wishing it was warm. Free spirit. Yeah, definitely, you know. Um, be you. Be you. And I think that's one thing, too, that this situation, um, you know, it breaks apart. It breaks apart the the stereotypical what what you should do or what what's expected of you. You know, you do you. You need to be you. You need to be your most authentic self. Let's see. This is express yourself and allow your spirit to feel free. Be aware of the confines and restrictions placed upon you by yourself and others. And that's definitely this. It is your confinement. You know, it's that constriction. So this is, you know, the outcome of the reading. So this is also good and bad. It, I mean, there's really no bad. It's, it's the heart's already been done. And we know that from this. This is you really healing from it and learning from it. The enlightenment that the hangman get get gains from hanging from the tree of knowledge. Right? And again, you have to watch the the obsessiveness, the addictions, overindulgences. It could be again the thoughts, the words. This is a message from your higher self to you now concerning the situation and maybe giving you some advice spruce up your nest <laughs> well can't we all have that it says it's time for a little spring cleaning your home is sacred and surroundings matter honor where you recharge and fill it with beauty make space by giving away or donating what you don't need your clutter could be someone else's gold. Plus, when we have less to process physically, we have more room to process things emotionally. A clear head and new room for great art awaits. Spruce up your fabu fabulous nest. And that could be, too, where this is kind of, you know, uh, the tearing down of the destruction of what no longer serves you. And you have to know if you feel like an opportunity has passed you by and it didn't work out, if there was some something that didn't work out, you need to know that it probably wasn't yours to begin with. Nothing that is ever yours will go past you. Right? So, you know, declutter, sometimes that helps us um, ground, too. That helps us ground. And know what's coming for you is going to be fair and just, and it's going to be um, balanced. And there could be a Capricorn that, you know, maybe is in the midst of this. But again, remember, there's some type of psychic connection, some type of 
something you can see or you can do that others can't readily do. And it radiates from you and it radiates your clients, your, the people that you read for. And it transforms not only you, but them. So I would love to hear how this does resonate with you all. Um, and I do thank you for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, Aries. And again, thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Any information you need is in the description below. I'm sorry for my dog. I don't know what he has. All right. And thank you all for watching. And have a blessed month. And good luck to you. I, I would love to hear how this resonates with you. I really would. And remember, be you. You do you. Right? Bye for now.